So as you can see, I am completely relaxed. I am clearly not overthinking what I'm going to say. I'm not constantly checking in the viewfinder instead of looking at the lens. My shoulders are loose. I am totally confident up here. I don't just have one stoic expression the entire time. I don't even remember the last time that I blinked. And I am clearly not overthinking every tiny little thing I'm saying. And naturally I did all this in one take, not eight takes. I did buy chapstick though, so that's a plus. This just comes so naturally to me. You can tell by the fact that I'm not moving an inch except for my head. Anyways, I hope you're enjoying the vlog. <laughs> Good morning everyone. It is week one and today we are going to be editing what we have on the vlog so far. Uh, we're going to be creating segments and today is our very first Sunday fun day. I'm going to go over all the segments later but Sunday fun day is basically what my work is for the week from Icon, uh, what unit I'm in and that's pretty much it. Let's go. So you are going to see me on a weekly basis upload this vlog and what I'm going to do is I'm breaking down almost every day into its own individual segment. Today is the first Sunday fun day which is me going over all my coursework for the week. This week we're looking at Arrangement, Ableton Live, and our introduction to the keyboard. All the level one modules are for this quarter, which is three months. So we click in here. I've already done a few of these modules. These first five or six are all on Arrangement. Then we go to Ableton Live, and then we have the intro to keys. I am most excited to get started on keys. As many of you know, I did launch my live performance show where I do play my own melodies live on keyboard. So to be in a class like this that is gonna help me perfect my technique, I'm really, really freaking excited about that. Check it out. These segments are, so there's a flow, so there's a rhythm to the vlog, and you can have something to look forward to every single week as we progress through Icon. You'll be able to look back on these videos and see the progression, see the accomplishments. I'm really excited about these segments. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this. I got some really cool stuff planned. It's gonna keep the vlogs consistent, it's gonna keep me on track, and it's gonna hold me accountable to continuing with them. And so with that, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, week one, and I just got to the studio. I wanted to talk a little bit about these segments. One in particular I'm really excited for is Whip Wednesdays, not WAP. <laughs> the Whip Wednesdays, Whip stands for work in progress, which is gonna be cool because all the tracks I'm working on behind the scenes, everyone's gonna be able to kind of follow along and get updated as I'm working on things. Maybe you'll even be able to help me with ideas if I'm stuck. These segments are gonna involve you, the viewer, as well as things going on in my life and obviously especially to do with my time at Icon. One of the segments that I am introducing right now is called Mental Health Mondays. Mental health is a really passionate subject of mine. You know, the reason why I, I want to do this is because I don't just want to present the highlight reel of everything going on in my life as it pertains to music or, you know, going out for dinners or whatever. I am in therapy for a variety of different reasons and some of those 
I do plan on opening up about. You know, I want to show that getting help works and that you're not alone in your struggle because I think the world needs to normalize talking about what's going on on the inside, especially in the music industry where addiction, depression, anxiety is running rampant and people are stuck. People don't feel like there are solutions out there and that no one understands what you're going through. And these are very isolating struggles, but it doesn't have to be. So we're not gonna get heavy today. We're gonna ease into things. I want to share this stuff with you in the hopes that you'll also share what's going on with you. And then maybe you can take some of these tools that I use and share that information with someone else. So today's Mental Health Monday, I am going to be talking about notes from the universe. I have been getting these emails for about maybe two years now. Do you know what's already happened this month, Graham? A million Beethovens were born, a million Oprahs, a million Einsteins, a million Florence Nightingales, a million Martin Luther Kings, and a million Madame Curies, to name just a few. Each as capable of moving mountains, touching lives, and leaving the world far better than they found it. It's a free service. You just sign up on their website and every day you get a little note from the universe. Some of the messages are about manifesting your desires. Some of them are about believing in yourself. For me, what I get out of this the most is starting my day with a positive message. And so you can just imagine how all of us here watch in anticipation to see which ones will have the courage to do whatever little they can each day with what little they've got from where they are before their baby steps turn into giant leaps for the legions who will follow them. It's so in you, the universe. I absolutely love reading these and I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna sign up as well, totally free. One of my favorite quotes is, it took me 10 years to become an overnight success because little by little, these baby steps, if you take one step towards your goals every day for a year, even if it's just a tiny thing, it all adds up. Life and success to me is about consistency. Let me show you a quote I have on my whiteboard up there. I am unshakable in my vision of the future. I let go of the process and trust that the universe will deliver if I keep taking massive action. Some days for me, massive action is moving from the bed to the couch and watching Netflix. Where other days, it's reaching out to labels, collaborating with big artists. Life for me is about the balance of the two and respecting where my mind is at, what my body is telling me. And only then, once my physical health, my spiritual health, my emotional health is taken care of, I can return to a creative place and absolutely kill it in the studio. I hope you enjoyed this Mental Health Monday. If you got something out of it, leave a comment, talk about what some of your practices are. I would love to hear about that. I would love to try some out. So I wanted to do a little check-in for the week. I am feeling really freaking excited. Uh, I'm connecting with a ton of the students. I already did like a one-on-one -on -one goal sharing thing, which is part of an optional homework assignment. I am absolutely floored that we are finally at Icon. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. It's surreal for me. Today we have our very first mentor session. Let's do this. Awesome, man. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. So cool, man. Um, I'm glad I'm working together with you this quarter. Uh, I'd love to start today off uh, spending just a little bit of time. Maybe you could uh, tell me a little bit about yourself and what kind of music you're trying to make and uh, ultimately where you uh, want to improve and how I could be helpful this quarter. And um, then, you know, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and how I like to kind of run my sessions and then we'll kind of get into a session. Uh, does that sound okay to you? Sounds awesome. 
Okay, great. So go ahead. This is one of my favorite times of day. That sunlight just hits my studio door and creates this beautiful little rainbow right on my elated hummingbird. I just finished my first mentor session. Jerry is my mentor for this quarter. Such a good guy. Check him out on YouTube, youtube.com slash bigjer, B-I-G-J-E-R-R. -R. And this guy's Ableton certified, Warp Academy, Icon Collective. Let's do a little recap of the mentorship session. So we went over a collaboration I'm doing with vocalist Shelly Harland. One thing I'm lacking is like over time, I can get my tracks sounding pretty good, but there's still a lot of clashing frequencies. And so basically we just went over the track. He just told me, gotta work on my effects, gotta work on my vocal layering. There's a lot of clashing with the lead. And he basically just taught me a few tips and tricks on how to do that. So right away we jumped straight into it and started going over my music, which I mean, I don't think I could have asked for a better start to my mentorship my mentorship sessions, mentorship session, mentorship sessions, mentorship sessions than that. Yeah, I mean, right now it's just all the introduction stuff, which I've already learned stuff. We will be meeting every week for the next three months and then I'll go into the next quarter and I'll get a different mentor with a different set of skills. I have a feeling these mentorship sessions is going to be one of the best things about Icon. I'm home from the studio. Look at this guys. Look what Becca made us. First Monday at Icon Down had an awesome day. I will see you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. I'm gonna eat some breakfast and review some of the schoolwork I did, mainly learning the ins and outs of the Ableton program, keyboard shortcuts, just how to use everything. And I already learned stuff I didn't know. So today I am actually prepping one of two sets that I need to finish this week. One is for Clawfly, and his Legends of Agartha radio show, which also includes a little interview. So I'm really, really excited to get to that today. I also have to prepare a set for the Legendary Transmission Festival. And then, of course, pushing on with our Unit 1 work from Icon Collective. So when I'm planning my sets, I like to use three different programs iTunes, because that's where I store all my music when I buy it. Mixed in key, and of course, record box. Let's go over mixed in key. So I'll drag these in here. Mixed in key is going to analyze them and it's gonna tell me the energy of the track, it's gonna tell me the tempo, and I have it set up so the key result is gonna tell me the Camelot key number rather than the actual key. And so when you're DJing, um, it's really handy just to see the one to 12, A or B, and choose your next track based on that. I'll do probably about three tracks that are kind of the same feel, the same energy, the same vibe, and then I'll switch to something else. So I might do, I'll start maybe with three progressive tracks and then I'll switch into something more uplifting, something that's got some big synths, and I'll do that for three tracks. And so I kind of group things into three. That's how I do my sets. So I just finished a therapy session, and now I am heading to get something to eat. Super nice day out, and I am gonna go check out this new cafe, Mile Zero, for lunch today. Let's go. So we just finished the first two modules of unit one, which were talking about the origins of music, arrangement, and the basics of Ableton Live, as well as shortcuts. Yeah, some of these shortcuts are gonna save me a ton of time. So, you know, it just goes to show that even though I can make tracks, there's always something to learn. So before we jump into the keyboard lesson, I am jumping on the decks right here and we got to do a set for the legend of agartha which is hosted by clawfly out of vancouver
I get so much energy out of sets like you know I'm not even live streaming or in front of everybody and I'm just in here jumping around having a good time getting the endorphins going I had a thought I was just sharing it on my Twitter and that is it's not even a boat that I'm already a better producer day two of icon it is being fully immersed in what my dream is to become it is about being surrounded by people with the same goals in mind the same dream the same drive you know it's hard to put into words but the atmosphere the general attitude that people coming together to accomplish something and help push each other it does not get any better than that so i'm telling you if you want to be somewhere in life just take the leap do one course one semester reach out to someone who's already completed what you want to do and have a conversation trust me you will feel amazing afterwards just keep going you you can do it, you deserve it, and you are worth it. It is that time of day again. The sun is beaming through my window. I just finished my spoken interview for the Legend of Agartha guest mix. This is actually my very first spoken interview. We talked about everything from my collaboration with Paul Van Dyke to what I'm doing with these vlogs to how I got into trance music. By the time this is released, it will already be out. So I will post the link in the description down below so you can go take a listen to the interview and my set. I'm wrapping things up in the studio today, week one, Tuesday. I hope everybody is having a good week so far. And if you're not, take a deep breath. In, hold, out the mouth. Nice little grounding exercise. Tomorrow, there is the very first Q&A. Really excited about this. This is gonna be my first icon Q&A. With that, I will close things out. Have a great night. See you tomorrow, AKA see you in about two seconds. Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, week one of Icon. Today, I'm gonna take you to my favorite coffee shop called Hey Happy, and we are gonna get everything pumpkin, pumpkin spice latte, pumpkin tart. So, I'm gonna meet my friend down there, show you the place, and you'll see right away why it's the best coffee shop. This is my favorite coffee shop out of anywhere I've been in the world, and I've been to quite a few different places. There he is. Look at this. Yeah, that's really good. This is more like a pie crust than a tart. Mini pie. Yeah, this is unbelievable. I'm still thinking about that pumpkin pie tart. <sighs> Anyways, we just got to the studio and today is extra special because it is the first Q&A that I'm gonna be a part of. Uh, superstar engineer Eric Madrid. Uh, this engineer has put together tracks for uh, DJ Khalid, Kelani, Alessia Cara, and many others. So that's around 2 p.m. and then around 3 we're gonna do some yoga which is actually put on by Icon Collective. So I think I'll get started on the keyboard section of unit one this morning. Okay this is just too funny not to share. One of the lessons I just did was about the importance of learning how to sing the notes. So I downloaded this little vocal tuner app and now let's give it a shot. See now let's try one octave lower. C. Now let's try one octave higher. C. Uh. C. 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 So, I think we nailed this one. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. Learning how to hear the pitch with your ear. Uh, that way, well, I don't know yet. I haven't got that far. Seems like a very, very valuable skill. Yeah, I'm actually really surprised I could get the pitch there. Uh, pretty much right on. So yeah, on we go.
I got one mistake, but it's all good. Mistakes are okay. They're all part of the process. I cannot wait to implement what I'm learning with keys into my live show. I really think this is going to take things to the next level and give me the confidence I need to just absolutely rock out on stage. So with each course you complete, you're awarded points. And with those points, you're awarded something. So I just unlocked rank two and I have been awarded a sample pack from Sample Magic, which has been put together exclusively for Icon students. That's really cool. There's a ton of points to earn over the full 18 months and a ton of prizes and a ton of rewards to collect.